let's get straight to the highlights. Caitlin Clark teed off at 7 a.m. alongside Nelly Corda. Next on the this morning, Caitlin Clark. She did not lack. Did you know that more people watched Caitlin Clark's LPGA prom debut than some WNBA games during the regular season? Yes, after NBA player Steph Curry, the WNBA Rookie of the Year, took to the golf course and dominated the high-profile LPGA Prom, which included the Anuka hosted by golf legend Anuka Sorenstam. In the midst of all the European League transfer rumors that have been circulating about Caitlin Clark because of certain grievances she has against the WNBA, the league has yet to learn how to treat a superstar. What does this mean for the future of women's sports? Caitlin Clark's obsession with golf is generating millions of social media impressions, but the WNBA has failed to capitalize on this buzz. Clark is taking her off-season to unexpected heights and getting celebrated by the LPGA, but the WNBA didn't even acknowledge it. Thank you. Uh, Caitlin Clark brought her golf game to the LPGA Tour today, playing in a pro-am that attracted a bigger crowd than the tour often gets. The Let's take a look at the Women's Professional Golf Association's recent promotion of the sport's face. The basketball community's silence is louder than a missed buzzer beater. At an LPGA prom, Caitlin Clark, who is well known for her incredible basketball skills, chose to switch from sneakers to golf spikes. What followed was complete chaos as fans flooded the tournament host's phone lines, demanding a way to watch her play, even though Caitlin Clark's basketballer to golfer revolution was not initially intended to be broadcast on television. I wanted to come say hi and introduce myself. I play out here on tour. I'm Maria. Thank you for being out here. It's very cool what you're doing for sports kicking ass. On and off the field. When Caitlin was out there torturing the basketball court, the WNBA, with all of its resources, hardly mentioned CC's amazing rookie season or her prom debut. In contrast, the LPGA listened to the fans and made her the star of the entire event. There was no drama, no talk about toxic fans, and no complaints about her taking away the spotlight from professional golfers. Instead, they made her the center of attention. One game where they spend two hours of their whole entire year has such an impact on their entire childhood, and I think that's really cool to think about. And, um, you know, that's, that's the reason that you play. It's not because of the wins and the points you score. It's the amount of joy that you can bring people and the young girls that will one day grow up to hopefully, you know, be whatever they want to be. And, and could we briefly discuss the backstory? Even though this pram wouldn't be shown on television, fans were after endless emails, phone calls, and smoke signals pleading for people to watch Caitlyn do her thing. The LPGA finally said, all right, let's give the people what they want and broadcast the event. It was an enormous hit and fans are now left wondering, if the LPGA can create a frenzy with a single golf appearance, just think of what the WNBA could do with a whole season. Why didn't the WNBA take advantage of this same star power? Why weren't they making Caitlin the face of the league behind the scenes? A league with enormous potential is passing up the chance to compete with its male counterparts and establish itself as a worldwide brand. Since the LPGA recently taught everyone, including the WNBA, how to spotlight a celebrity, Caitlin Clark's golf debut wasn't simply a victory for the LPGA. It served as a warning to all sports organizations to brand their best stars and capitalize on their fame. Let's examine this. The LPGA made sure that Caitlin Clark's golf debut was more than just another celebrity cameo. They understood her star power and dug in hard to reap the benefits. The WNBA, on the other hand, remained silent and are now being criticized by fans. How's it going? You've been seeing uh, Nelly Corda do that over and over again for six holes now. It's just satisfying. The way she hits the ball is just satisfying. It's pretty awesome. Have you picked up anything, learned anything from her? Caitlin was matched with Nelly Corda by the LPGA. One of the best golfers in the world at the moment made a move so calculated that it couldn't have happened by chance. When two of the biggest names in their respective sports come together, it's more than simply a headline combination. While the WNBA, the league that helped make Caitlyn a household brand didn't even acknowledge the moment. Fans were so thrilled by social media buzz to live broadcasts that they elevated their top athlete and made Caitlyn the spotlight. Despite her stellar rookie season and the undeniable boost she brought to the Women's Basketball League's viewership, the WNBA still appears hesitant to fully embrace her as the league's face. Critics claim they're too focused on spreading the attention evenly 
even when it's obvious Caitlyn is the one bringing audiences to the women's game. However, this isn't the first time the league has been accused of underpromoting her. The LPGA took use of her crossover popularity to draw in basketball, golf, and non-WNBA fans, but they lost out on a fantastic chance to honor one of its biggest players and reach a wider audience. The difference is evident. Everyone involved benefited from Caitlyn's attendance thanks to the LPGA. While the WNBA was still catching up, the LPGA noticed Caitlyn Clark's potential and seized it. She is a star who elevates whichever platform she is on. I used to run around golf courses and wanted to go to uh, golf events when I was a young kid or basketball events. And, you know, it can really change your life if they can have one interaction with you. So just trying to make as much time as I can to sign an autograph for a young kid or give them a ball or give them a high five because, um, you know, that goes a really long way. The LPGA's investments in Caitlin Clark's brand paid off when she didn't just show up at the prom to finish the list. Instead, she swung and left a trail of viral moments in her wake. Meanwhile, the WNBA remained silent, likely wondering if anyone would notice. But spoiler alert, we all noticed that the LPGA didn't just pair Caitlyn with Nellie Korda, the best golfer in the world. Oh no. They saw Caitlyn's star potential and said, let's put her with the biggest name in women's golf. Social media went crazy when this happened, and suddenly basketball fans, and even that random accounting guy who still believes golf is only for old guys were tuning in. Meanwhile, the LPGA was doing cartwheels as their merchandise sales skyrocketed, and social media was lit up like a Christmas tree. At the WNBA, the vibe has changed completely. Throughout the season, Caitlin broke rookie records and made viral videos. What did the league do to allow Asia Wilson and Angel Reese to harass her from the start of the regular season until the playoffs? Fans have been criticizing the league on social media and demanding an explanation for their actions or inaction when it comes to honoring CC's crossover, but there hasn't been a single tweet or even a hey, look at Caitlin out there slaying on the golf course. Record-breaking numbers women's basketball did during the NCAA tournament has trickled up to the WBA NBA this season as the league has seen unprecedented growth thanks to the emergence of a strong rookie class headlined by number one overall pick Caitlin Clark. So WNBA released a report recently Numbers are beyond impressive. Attendance is up 156% from last year, and more than half of all WNBA games this year have been sellouts. This year's televised games are averaging 1.32 million viewers, nearly triple last season's average of 462,000. Continuing, the WNBA's online merchandise store has already set a single season sales record with more than four months left in the season, and sales are up 756% compared to last year. And the WNBA social channels garnered 157 million video views through the first week of the season, an all-time high and up 380% compared to last year. The WNBA also set an all-time high for League Pass subscriptions last month with a 355% increase versus last season. Why then is there silence? Some claim that the WNBA doesn't want to show preference. But if we're being honest, a player like Caitlin Clark who draws attention and draws viewers like a contestant on a reality TV show demands a certain amount of promotional material that highlights that player. You should be shouting it from the rooftops. The LPGA understood this and leaned in, saying, let's make Caitlin Clark the star of the show and bring in the crowds. And guess what? Basketball and golf fans became best friends overnight. And they were aware that Caitlyn's I'm not a golf pro moments would turn into a marketing campaign. Fans weren't having it with the WNBA, who pretended that Caitlyn wasn't even present, in contrast to Goldmine. It was like watching someone enter a party and start dancing straight away as everyone else stands there awkwardly, sipping punches with their backs to the wall. How is the LPGA handling this while we're over here treating Caitlyn like a bench warmer in her league? This was the perfect opportunity for the WNBA to do, like, have you seen it when an NBA player or a football player, like, goes to an NBA game or goes to wherever and they'll be in the comments or they'll just say something, like, something cute? This was the perfect time for the WNBA to also be posting about this. And they said nothing. And it just goes to show that all of us who have been speaking out about this and saying like, it doesn't seem like you guys are giving Caitlyn, you know, the kind of props that she deserves for bringing all these eyeballs and, you know, the Caitlyn Clark effect that we talk about, viewership, money, all of those things. All of the people who were shouting this for the entire WNBA season, this is a, an instance where we are proved correct.
Both NBA fans and experts concur that the league needs to seriously revamp its marketing approach and reconsider how it markets individual players. The LPGA's handling of Caitlin's prom debut offers a solid blueprint for success. The LPGA nailed it by using Caitlin's popularity to create a moment that transcended sports and attracted a new audience. This is the kind of strategic thinking that could help the WNBA expand its audience without risking alienating other players. Caitlin Clark's undeniable star power represents a unique opportunity to bring more attention to women's basketball. The league can't afford to miss these moments anymore, that is, if they don't lose Clark to Europe or the Middle East. The LPGA demonstrated with their prom success that the WNBA has a chance to use Caitlin's star power to advance the league, but they must step up and take full advantage of it. If the WNBA follows the LPGA's lead, they could see a significant increase in visibility and fan engagement. What do you think about the WNBA's silence versus the LPGA's marketing masterclass? Will Caitlin Clark's wake-up call be the catalyst for women's basketball to advance? Please share your ideas in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.